what's up everyone so in this video I'm gonna show you how to do a sky replacement that we did in one of our recent videos and if you haven't watched that recent video I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out on the Marsh Farms behind the scenes footage so let's dive right in all right guys let me show you how we did the sky replacement and so for this um, I took some of the scenes and where you're gonna use the the last scene that we had in our March Farms video. Um, if you haven't watched that, go ahead and check it out my description and you, know, and you can see the video. Uh, this was the last scene. So this was the original footage right here. Um, as you can see, there's the, you know, the sky is all blown out. So the first thing we did is we laid the uh, original footage right here and then we laid the, um, the scene of the sky replacement that we want to use. So we want to use this right here because it fades into to dark. Um, and that was kind of our theme in the in the last video for the March Farms is that you know at the end of the video it kind of fades into dark and we show a couple night scenes. The first thing we want to do is we want to come up to where we, it is that we want to start fading, and I think we're going to use right about here is where I think we started it. We're going to do a slow motion which it goes in here and then as it goes to this scene it's going to slow down even more okay and we'll probably cut it right where this camera shake happens so like right about here we'll just cut that so we'll let's let's use just this right here so let's cut that right there and to do this we'll highlight this video let's do Control b now that will cut the actual footage now we'll take that footage, we'll copy it, and we'll paste it up top. So hit Control C and then Control V to paste it up top. Um, so for this bottom footage right here, what we want to do, okay, is we want to scroll down here to the side, and we want to select Luma Keyer. So let's drag a Luma Keyer down to the bottom footage. All right. So now if we deactivate this, disable this top footage. And we have the Luma Keyer on the bottom here. Now that we have that, we go to the Luma Keyer and what we want to do is just adjust these. Okay, so we click the invert button so that that goes up top. And now what we do is we start adjusting these until we could get this just right. Okay, so that's what a Luma Keyer does. There's a lot of things that we could adjust here. We could soften this up a little bit. Okay, see how you can see the edges of the, of the scene. So if we want to basically soften this up just a tiny bit, we could do that as well. We could use in the road to kind of, and that's another option that we have as well. All right, so let's go ahead and play around with these. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to disable the bottom half. We, we can work on the top side. And for this, what we want to do, all right, is we want to just basically add a shape mask. Okay, so if we go to mask, we're going to go ahead and drag a shape mask on top of here. All right, and now for this, what we do is we extend this mask. We're going to take it all the way so it's what we're actually going to do is invert this as well so we just see the behind and if we take this up we can adjust this as well so we can adjust the fade how we want it you know to make it look a lot more blended into the scene so we, 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 we're going to take this up we want it so that it doesn't fade into the barn and this will help blend it right in so now you know if you look at this okay it's playing the top it's playing the bottom okay but what we're doing is we're putting a shape mask so that this right here remains uh, from this top footage it remains green it remains uh, perfect so it doesn't distort the image so if we actually enable this now but we also set a mask here so that it uh, shows the top footage right here. So if you if we pull this down a little bit too, actually you'll see it, it'll cover a lot more. What we're doing is we're starting in normal and then we want it to fade into the sky footage. All right guys, that's pretty much how we do the sky replacement. It's very simple. 
you're using a simple shape mask and you know you're just using some aluma here and you just play around with it until you get it right i hope you guys enjoyed that and if you haven't done so yet i also made a video on how we did that intro with the map the gta map that was inspired by andreas hem so go ahead and i'll leave a link in the description you can go ahead and check that out as well and please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it and also i'll leave a link down in the description that will take you to my website where i'm giving away some complimentary vacation certificates just for being a subscriber to my channel i really appreciate you and i'll see you guys in my next video Thank <laughs> you.